Hey, you do Miranda over here. I wanted to compare <clears throat> the homemade first kit, uh, first aid kit, homemade first kit, the homemade first aid kit that I made compared to the one that was sent to me by a Lift for Free, or no, Lift for Wild and Into the Picker. Um, I did a video on this. It should be uploaded already. If not, it'll be uploaded soon. And I've done a video on this one before as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. When I did this video, I really, uh, actually, actually, I thought that, you know, it was a very good kit. Uh, I remember mentioning that I wanted to add some things to it, like a fever reducer and things like that, but I just never got around to it. So I'm going to show you what's in this kit, and then I'm going to show you in the kit uh, that was sent to me what's in it. And we'll just go real quick. I'm not going to open up all the pouches and read off every little thing. You can see some huge things of dental floss. Ace bandage, gauze roll, gauze roll, uh, mylar blanket, some antibiotic ointment, and when I pack this stuff, uh, here's some band-aids, some medical tape, and some Q-tips, but when I pack this stuff, I didn't really pack it thinking about, uh, you know, weight and uh, versatility, things like that weren't really on my mind. That's a bunch of alcohol prep pads. Band-Aids, gauze pads, surgical dressings, more Band-Aids. <clears throat> I do have a few medications in here, but not many. Some bath soap, uh, just so you can keep clean, you know. I have some Mucinex for my kids. Uh, and I keep a syringe for my dad who is a diabetic a couple more uh, gauze pads and then some matches uh, that I've sealed up in mylar make them waterproof uh, and that's you know you can see some other stuff down in there nothing much a uh, little razor blade uh, some mcmethal that's for uh, it's like a drawing staff or if you have a spider bite or something I get, the, I get worse uh, spider bites. I'm always getting bit by spiders, wolf spiders for some reason. And uh, I'm allergic. They swell up and uh, get nasty. Sometimes you have to lance them. So. Alright, so that's the one I made. And I really thought the kit was compact. And I thought it was kind of complete. You know, I knew I needed a, some fever reducers and uh, that was about all I was going to add to it, and then I received this kit, <clears throat> and I'm just going to open it up and kind of tell you what's in it. I do a video on it. Uh, like I said, it should already be uploaded. It may not be, but you can see everything is so much more, you know, uh, organized. You know where everything is, kind of like this is the area. Uh, I got this mole skin pads. Uh, I've got some gauze, some alcohol prep pads, and then some uh, antibiotic ointments and uh, wipes in here. And then back here, I have all the band aids and some uh, off uh, wipes. In here, we have some fever reducer, uh, nasal, nasal decongestant type stuff. This is the liquid skin, a uh, little knife with, you know, like a Swiss Army knife kind of, little miniature one. <clears throat> and you can see this floss. I carry floss in all my medical kits because I use it so often. Uh, but you can see how compact this one is. I never, never occurred to me just, you know, look at the difference in that, you know. That's tiny. This is huge. Uh, hush dog going crazy sorry but you can just see the huge difference in that uh, in here man there's so much stuff in here there's another mylar blanket again I carry mylar in mine uh, but it's nothing like this one so this is a Coleman it's actually kind of thick it's a thicker mill stuff like that uh, there's gauze pads in here scissors hemostats tweezers uh, there's just all kinds of stuff in this pouch. I, I I want you, if you can, go look at the other video I do on this one because it's just, you'll see, there's just so much more to it 
uh, like I don't really want to open it up because I just got all this stuff packed away and it's you know kind of a pain in the grips to pack but uh this kit is so much more complete than I ever could have imagined a first aid kit being uh, I want to thank them guys for that I just wanted to go ahead and share with you uh, you think you're 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 set and I pretty much thought I was set with my first aid kit uh, and then somebody shows you theirs or, or something like that and you're like wow you know I've never really looked at other people's first aid kits it never occurred to me that mine was lacking so bad uh, so I just wanted to show you guys you think you're you think you're set on something and then somebody goes off and shows you something like this or gives you something like this and you're like wow you know I was uh, lacking so bad in so many places so uh, that's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching, YouTube.